Hi guys, so in today's video, it is finally the time where I'm going to be reviewing the Nikki Tutorials Times Ofra collection. So this is what the collection looks like, um, it does have like a lid, but I'm going to show you all of that in a minute. So obviously Nikki Tutorials is like literally one of my favourite YouTubers ever. I absolutely love her, she is such a huge inspiration to me, like she is probably the reason that I got into highlights so much. I was so excited when I heard that she was coming out with a highlighter finally because in her um, collaboration with Too Faced there was like a highlighter in the palette but it wasn't like a main feature and I've never tried any Ofra products until now so if you guys want to see what I thought about this whole collection and my review then just keep watching. So originally I ordered this off Beauty Bay for £55 and then the next day after mine arrived um, Beauty Bay actually sent it out as a PR package so I now have two which means that I was thinking you know like I could send back the one I bought but that would be a bit like I don't know it just seemed weird so I'm gonna be putting one of them in my 300,000 subscriber giveaway which is so exciting so thank you so much for Beauty Bay for sending over um, it as a PR package that was so so lovely of you um, but yeah, anyway, you can get this on Beauty Bay if you're in the UK. Um, and it comes in like an Ofra box. So the box itself just looks like this. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with it. Um, and then on the back, it's got a picture of Nikki, Queen. And then it's got a picture of like the highlighter and the lip colours and stuff. Um, so you then slide this out. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Those lipsticks are wonky. I'm sure that's going to annoy people. Um, but the thing that I was slightly worried about when I opened mine, there were all these little like flakes of um, the red one. Kind of like, yeah, you can see there. There were all these like flakes of the kind of like red colour just floating around in the middle so like I think that the corners of it had like broken off or something but luckily it's literally like just from around the edges where it's like gone it's been pressed and the bits on the outside of the pan have like fallen and crumbled um it's not the actual like highlighter itself so I'm just gonna like tip this onto something so this is what the highlighter looks like um it's just got like a plastic lid in all honesty for something like i'm just being completely completely honest here i mean obviously the design of the highlighter does look very very beautiful and i know that the like pigmentation of these is going to be insane i haven't swatched it yet but i know it's like really good quality and stuff but for something that i paid 55 pounds for i mean i know you get the um liquid lipsticks as well but yeah for me the packaging like i feel like it could have been made a bit better. Okay, I feel awful saying this because obviously I know that Nikki put so much work into this and it probably wasn't her decision about the packaging. It's just like the Ofra highlighter packaging in general. I feel like it could break quite easily because it's just like a kind of plastic um, lid and it's just kind of like the standard plastic containers that, um, you know, that like drugstore brands do. I'm really sorry if that seems harsh, I'm literally just giving like my complete honest opinion. Um, but yeah, anyway, anyway, that's not the point. Obviously the point is the quality of the product, so I'm just gonna swatch the highlighter for you guys, which I'm so excited about because I haven't touched this yet, I've been waiting to do a video. Oh, oh my god, it's so soft. Oh, wow. They literally felt like butter. Oh my God. Oh. My nail is broken, this is ruining the effect. Oh. Oh wow, you guys, look, look at these. I had never tried an Ofra highlighter until now. Now I know why everyone hypes about them. They are so incredibly creamy, you guys. Like when I was touching it, it almost feels like a cream formula because it is so, so smooth. Um, so that is the highlighter. Obviously, I'm going to put it on my face in a minute, but I just want to swatch the um, liquid lipsticks. So these are the three colours that you get. You get Nude Potion, which is the nude, obviously. You get Spell, which is a kind of like bright orangey corally pink. And then you get Coven, which is like a metallic brown. Um, and I know that they're definitely not for everyone. Um, I personally really like the shimmery brown and the nude, but I know that I will never, probably ever, wear this colour. 
Um, so I'm gonna swatch this one on my hand and then I probably am not gonna put it on my lips because I'm either gonna like give it away to somebody like one of my friends or maybe give it away to one of you guys or something like that I don't really know but it's got a really nice kind of like pink shift to it um, but if bright colors are your thing then you're gonna love this but me personally I never really wear kind of like corally colors so it went on super like pigmented in one swipe um, it looks really really pretty. It's a really beautiful color, but like I just know that I'm not gonna wear it So so I'm then gonna swatch coven, which is the brown. Oh They all smell so good. Oh wow That one was also super pigmented in just one swipe. Oh, they smell so good Okay, so that is what nude potion looks like there So I really really love how Nikki's done like the three separate colors because obviously that means that pretty much any skin tone will be able to use this um, so I'm gonna dip into the gold one first. Yes, the gold one isn't too dark for me. Okay, no, yeah it is. When I turn to the front you can like see it, but... Oh my god. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Okay, I feel like I could just about get away with this one. But when I do look to the front, like, it does look a little bit kind of, like, muddy here. Like, you know when a highlighter is too dark for you. But, oh my, that is stunning. Oh, mama. I definitely understand the hype about Ofra highlighters now. Look at that. The lighting on this side is way better. Okay, that's definitely too dark for me. Can you guys see, like, it's like a big... Yeah, you guys can see that. When I'm not in the light, it just looks like a big brown smudge on my face damn it that color is stunning i think if you obviously if you have darker skin tone than darker skin tone than me this color is going to be beautiful on you so i'm now going to go over the top with the white color because that's what i needed really wasn't it oh oh my god okay I feel like I need to cover the whole of the gold with the white because... Oh my god, now I just look like I've got way too much on. Oh my god, I'm literally like glowing. I literally feel like Nikki right now. Look at that glow! <laughs> Maybe this is how much Nikki puts on because she glows like so much. Like no matter what I do to my lighting, I can never glow as much as Nikki. Okay, so I would give this highlighter a 10 out of 10. In terms of formula, I would give it a 10 out of 10, um, but just because of the packaging, I'm gonna downgrade it to like a nine out of 10, but oh my God, this is stunning. So first I'm gonna put on Nude Potion, which is the nude shade. I know this might sound like I'm going a bit overboard, but this is the nicest smelling liquid lipstick I've ever smelled. It smells like caramel. Okay, so that is that colour there. I wouldn't normally wear nudes that are this pale, but I think with the makeup that I have on right now, it actually looks alright. The reason that I tend to stay away from pinky nudes is because one, I feel like they can wash me out, and two, I feel like they make my teeth look yellow. I don't know, I quite like it. If you're into your pinky nudes, I think you're really gonna like this one. It went on really, really smooth. It doesn't feel like heavy on the lips. It did probably require about two coats, but like as it's drying, it feels really, really lovely on the lips. Like it doesn't feel drying at all. Okay, so I don't know if it's fully dried down yet, but there is some transfer, as you can see on the back of my hand. Um, I don't really know what Ofra liquid lipsticks are supposed to be like, because I've never tried them before. Okay, so now I'm going to take this off and I'm going to move on to Coven. Ooh. Oh my god, this makes your lips look so plump. I feel like I look like I have lip fillers now. So here is a little close up of the colours on my hand. I feel like a glazed donut right now. So overall, I'm really, really impressed with this collection. Um, I think that she's done a great job on it. The liquid lipsticks are a gorgeous formula. I really, really love the colours minus this one, um, like I said before. The highlighter is just absolutely stunning. I didn't doubt her. Like, when I saw swatches of the Ofra highlighter, I was like, that's gonna be good. And... I was not wrong. Um, so I think, is this worth the hype? I mean, obviously 55 pounds is a lot of money and I really do wish that you were able to buy these separately because then I probably would have just got the highlighter and one of the liquid lipsticks. Um, 
So I feel like that is like a bit of an issue because obviously Nikki does have some fans that are younger. Um, I know that she has an older audience as well, but for people that are younger, like 55 pounds, is a lot of money so i don't know i think if you have the money like if you want to save up for it and you think that you will get use out of it um then definitely i would recommend it because i think it is such great quality like the products that i've tried have been amazing obviously i know that for like three liquid lipsticks and a highlighter by ofra it's probably like less than buying them all separately um but then at the same time i really do wish that you could have the option of buying them individually because i think that would solve issues with kind of like the cost of 55 pounds so that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you want a drugstore video from me today, I've actually made a video over on the Makeup Revolution channel. It's my first video over on their channel and I don't know if you guys have seen on my social media, I kind of like did uh, a little announcement thing that I am actually joining the Makeup Revolution social team. So I'm gonna be doing videos on their YouTube channel, Instagram lives, Instagram posts and Instagram stories for them so that is really really exciting and I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys um just for subscribing to me because like obviously you know that I've loved Makeup Revolution for the longest time um and the fact that I now get to work with them is just so exciting um but obviously everything on my channel is staying the same I'm literally just going to be doing like you know, reviews of stuff on their YouTube channel and like tutorials using their products and stuff. So if you wanna see an extra video from me a week, then make sure you go over to the Makeup Revolution channel and subscribe. Um, there's also Tammy and Kami as well who are joining the team and they are so, so lovely. Um, so yeah, that is all really exciting stuff. So make sure you're following them on Instagram and on YouTube if you wanna see more of my face. And if you don't wanna see more of my face, then maybe don't do that. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye.